What's up, everyone? Uh, I just want to do a weekly update, uh, just let you guys know what's going on with me. Um, last time I did this, I totally forgot to mention literally the most important thing that I am working on right now. Um, I mentioned it on my blog not that long ago. It is called, well, I like to call it the 10 in 10 campaign. And basically what that means is that um, I will be trying to release 10 books over the course of the next 10 years. Uh, obviously, if I feel like the quality is dipping because I'm trying to force these books out once a year, um, I'm going to stop doing that. But uh, as of right now, the stuff that I've written recently and uh, the stuff that I've already written, I'm okay with. Like, I'm proud of it. You know, I think it's good enough. Um, the quality, obviously, is, is where I want it to be. But if for any reason it starts to dip under that, um, I'm going to kind of just push this off or at least maybe extend it even though that would defeat the whole purpose of the 10 and 10 campaign but um this doesn't include the book that's coming out in november so um the ideal situation would have me with 11 books out and on the market uh in those 10 years because i already technically self-published one and it's getting re-released so i don't really count that one so uh, there would be 10 more books after that um Reasoning for that basically is um, as of May 19th coming up, um, I will be 30. So I figure um, 10 years bring us to 40, obviously. And it would be pretty cool to have 11 books out on the market before I'm 40. So uh, that's what I'm shooting for. I already have pretty much the basis of what's going to happen in all of those books already kind of mapped out and planned out. But um, if you're a writer, you know that kind of doesn't always go the way that you plan it to or the story starts to write itself and becomes a beast of its own so some of those ideas and um, situations might change but for the most part the uh, outline for it um, is kind of what I'm pushing for and uh, I think I can get there uh, as long as things don't drastically change uh, over the course of the next book or two um, that being said uh, I also want to just mention the thing that I mentioned last week, the shorter short stories. I'm super excited um, for uh, this little project that I'm working on. Um, the first one should be releasing tomorrow. I recorded the audio for it this morning. Um, I was happy with the way it came out. Um, but I'm even more excited because a good friend over at the Polyethnic, uh, her name is Gabby. Uh, you can find her on Instagram uh, at the poly, well, it's just polyethnic underscore writer. I'm going to put the link in the description down below. It'll be linked uh, probably at the end of the video tomorrow and in the description tomorrow as well. Uh, please check her out. She's doing commissions right now. Her art is amazing. Um, as of right now, I have one um, piece of art that she did for me that I'm really excited to share with you guys tomorrow. Um, it's really, really well done. It's really professional looking. It's really, really nice. Um, Gabby did a great job with it. And uh, I'm really, really excited to show it to you guys tomorrow. Um, and that's pretty much going to be the background for the entire video uh, with my audio and the words written over it. Um, and then like a good feature of it at the end of the video. Um, but it came out really, really cool. Uh, it's for the main character of the um, little prequel to uh, one of my future titles uh, that this short story is going to be based off of. And um, it just looks really awesome. I, I don't really know how to put it into words how excited I actually am, but um, I'm really, really excited to share it with you guys tomorrow. Um, other than that, I am going to try to do a stream on Friday, a writing stream. I probably will be streaming either tonight or Wednesday or both, um, just some video games and uh, stuff like that. But Friday is going to kind of be my uh, writing day for stream. So uh, it'll probably be in the afternoon because that's usually when I do my writing. So uh, it'll probably be like around 11 a.m. Eastern time to about 2 p.m. Um, and you can just kind of see my process and I'll write things out. And as I go back through and edit it, you know, I'll read it out loud. And, um, you know, if, uh, the people viewing like what they see or uh, want to contribute in any way, that'd be awesome. Um, I'm not really going to start the Write With Me project just yet. I'm um, holding off for that for a little bit until I work out some things. I'm trying to get the um, ebook that I want to release in July situated and uh, written up. So uh, that's taking up a lot of my time. And uh, the amount of time that I was giving myself to write it uh, has actually shortened due to um, it, the date that I want to release it. It needs to be submitted for edits 
um, way before the day I was thinking. So uh, I got to crack down a little bit and uh, do more pages per day and uh, make sure that it comes out good and uh, do some edits myself. So um, the time frame that I thought I had got a lot shorter. So a lot of my focus needs to be there right now. But uh, as soon as I'm comfortable with that and that's all taken care of, um, then I'll most likely be starting up that Write With Me project that I mentioned last week uh, because I think it'll be a lot of fun and I think uh, it'll be a good way to interact with viewers and uh, people that hopefully like my work. Um, it's a stream. Um, I just want to quickly mention what I'm currently reading. I'm currently reading Threatening Souls by Nicole Lampert. It's a... Uh, it's a polyethnic title. Um, really, really great book. It's kind of like um, more of like a thriller, psych thriller, I would say, and a little bit of horror too. Um, but you should definitely check it out. It's got a fantasy element to it as well, uh, which is stuff that I really enjoy. And I, I've really been digging it so far. So uh, definitely check that out if you haven't. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys are reading right now, because uh, I'd definitely like to know. Um, just so I know where I should go next. But right now, I'm, I'm really just trying to read all the polyethnic books um, so I can uh, know what the books that are being written by my peers are all about. So um, I highly recommend you check this one out, Threatening Souls. The uh, second book in the series actually just came out. I didn't get my hands on it yet, but uh, I will be ordering that as soon as possible. Um, but definitely check out that uh, book and that series. Uh, it's really, really great. Um, as far as currently writing, as you guys know, I am working on my ebook. Uh, I am making good progress. Uh, it's about 40 pages in right now. I'm shooting for about 100, anywhere from like 80 to 100, but will more likely be closer to 100. Um, and hopefully I can get that out um, in the middle of July, which is the, the plan. That's what I want to do. Um, that's all I really got. I really just wanted to do an update, let you guys know where I'm at, uh, what I'm working on, and to look forward to the Shorter Short Stories premiere tomorrow, which will be a short story called Prelude to Ruria. That'll probably be a three-part series, possibly more, depending on uh, how it does and where I go with it. And then uh, that'll lead into one of my books that's coming out way later in the series. But uh, I did want to introduce you guys to some of these characters because they are characters that I like. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. That's pretty much all I got. Hope you guys have a great day and uh, have a good one.